all of you, I Anubhuti Dikshit welcome you once again to the session for English communication. In my previous session, I taught you four words related to the theme for feelings and emotions. And the words were capricious, enamored, stoic and irate. Today I have got another theme and today the session is not just about four words. I will tell you certain words and phrases related to the theme and that is Indianism. I'm sure a lot of you know what is Indianism but to all who do not know I would like to tell that Indianism is a word or an idiom characteristic which is used to describe Indian English. Now what do I mean Indian English? In my first session I told you that we as Indians tend to think in Hindi and the same has to be translated in English to be communicated to the other person. And when we tend to make mistakes while translating that into English, that is called Indianism. I will tell you certain words which will tell you that where, we, where do we make mistakes and where do we need to correct them. So, the topic is Indianism. The first word that I would like to teach you in Indianism is propose. P-R-O-P-O-S-E. Now, how many times you ask somebody out for a date or lunch and you tell around or you tell people that you proposed her? Let me tell you, when you're simply asking somebody out for a coffee or lunch, that has to do nothing with proposing. Propose literally means when you legally and formally ask somebody to marry you. And that's when you propose somebody. One more thing to note here is, propose is always followed by a to. So the correct statement when you're telling that you have proposed somebody will be, I proposed to her. The wrong statement that we usually use is, I proposed her and that's wrong. So you have to use do while using propose. The second word that I would like to talk about is ATM. Now tell me where am I making mistake in using this word? Please wait for me. I am going to withdraw money from the ATM machine. Did you get it? Let me tell you. ATM, when we say ATM, ATM already means an automated teller machine. So when I'm saying I'm going to withdraw money from an ATM, that means I am saying that I'm going to withdraw money from an automated teller machine. You do not, use, you do not need to explicitly use the word machine while using ATM. The third thing that I would like to tell you is the usage for AM and PM. Now, if you're telling somebody that you get up at 7 a.m. in the morning, you're wrong. And why are you wrong? Because when you're saying a.m., it automatically means that it's happening in the morning. So, there can be two correct statements. First can be, I get up at 7 a.m. or I get up at 7 in the morning. Similarly, goes for p.m. and night. If you say, I sleep at 11 p.m., you do not need to explicitly add night in that. So understand the meaning for AM and PM that they already denote in what time of the day it is happening. The fourth word that I would like to talk about is repeat again or repeat twice. Now, repeat is a very simple word and I'm sure all of us know the meaning of repeat. So when we say repeat, we already know we are doing something again. And when you say repeat again and repeat twice, you're actually making it redundant. The correct statement when you're reiterating something can be, I am repeating the thing for you. In the rarest case, if you're using it for the very, for the third time, or you're explaining something to somebody for the third time, you can say, all right, I am telling you this thing third time over. Please note, when you're using repeat, do not add again or twice in that, and that is incorrect. The fifth thing that I'm 
I'm going to talk about is please put a mail. Now when somebody asks you please put a mail, go ahead and ask that where do you want me to put a mail and how exactly do you want me to put it? Because now what we are doing while saying please put a mail, like I told you earlier, we think in Hindi and here we are actually transliterating that Hindi into English which is wrong. We are trying to transliterate ek mail dal do. And when we are saying ek mail dal do, we are translating the same in English and saying please put a mail. The correct statement to use to use this line can be can you write me an email about it or please put down your thoughts on an email. Now why am I emphasizing on email? Because most of the times when we say mail we are actually referring to electronic email and the electronic email is known as email and not mail. So you need to make sure that when you are referring to electronic mail you have to call it an email and not just mail. The sixth and the last thing for today's session is backside. Now how many times while I'm asking somebody for an address you happen to meet people who tell you the entrance of this gate is from backside. Let me tell you backside literally means a person's buttocks. So you can imagine how inappropriate it is to say that, can't you? So when we have to say that the entrance is from behind or, or when we use this word backside, we can replace this word with, just a second. So you can replace this word backside with the word rare. So when you have to tell that the entrance of the building is from behind, you can say, sir, the entrance of this building is from the rear. Backside is an incorrect statement when you are telling somebody about an address or about an entrance. Backside only means a person's buttocks. So please be careful while using this word. So I've told you six words and phrases about Indianism and I will bring some more in my other session. So keep learning and keep watching. God bless all of you. Bye-bye.